Today we'll talk about one of the most important subjects in the aviation world. It is the dangerous goods regulations. It will be a small but hopefully a useful summary and we'll start our topic of course with the definition of dangerous good. What are the dangerous good? So they are articles or substances which are capable of posing a risk to health, safety, property and the whole environment. And of course to ensure a safety and fast operation there are many responsibilities on the shipper as well as on the operator and on this slide we can see some of the shippers and operators responsibilities some of the dangerous goods are permitted in the passenger baggage and for that we have four different groups based on different requirements group one includes items that require the approval of the operator and are permitted only as a checked bag group two includes items that require the approval of the operator always and are permitted only as a carry-on bags and here i should mention the difference between checked bag and carry-on bags checked bag are the bags that you must give and check in at the airport counters on the other hand carry-ons are the bags that you are allowed to bring with you into the aircraft group 3 are the items required the approval of the operator and are permitted in either carry-ons or checked bags and group 4 and it's the final group it includes the item that do not require any approval Classifications and labeling. Dangerous goods are divided into nine classes based on the specific chemical characteristic producing the risk. Some dangerous goods require special handling labels in addition to the hazard label because they need to be handled or loaded in a particular manner and in this case there are special signs that should be clearly indicated on the dangerous good shipping boxes. Here are some examples on the next slide. Thank you so much for your time and patience and I hope that this was useful. See you soon.